Hi, in this video we're going to look at creating a macro that will protect cells that contain a formula. Other cells will remain editable. Now I need to explain a basic principle here in Excel that all cells are by default locked. If I right click on a cell, go to format cells, you can see the cell is locked. This is on the protection tab of the format cells dialog box. Now that lock doesn't come into effect until you actually protect the sheet. And you can do that via uh, review, protect, protect sheet. So we're going to create a macro that will basically unlock the cells that contain just a value, leave the formula cells protected and then protect the sheet. So uh, we're going to do this um, in the Visual Basic Editor and the shortcut key for opening that is Alt F11. So I'm just going to drag this over here so you can see both the sheet and the code window. Now um, what you will need to do is go to View Project Explorer if you can't see the Project Explorer and if you don't have a module in your VBA project for your workbook you will need to create a module and you'll do that within the modules folder so you select the modules folder and then you can say insert module and it will create a module for you once you've got your module double click on it and you'll get a code window where you can type your code i'm just going to close down this project explorer to give us a little bit more space so first of all i'm going to start what's called a sub procedure with the keyword sub and I'm going to give a name to my macro. So I'm going to say lock formula cells. And then I need an open and close bracket. Press enter. And it will also give me a line of code saying in sub. So that marks the start and the end of my, uh, for, uh, my macro. Now the first thing I'm going to do is specify the range of cells uh, that I'm going to look for. Um, cells that I want to lock or unlock within. So the range of cells is A1 to uh, H12 in this instance. Okay, so that's my range of cells, right? We'll stop. And that then allows me to access the methods and properties for that range. Now, the method I'm after is called special cells. Now, if I open a bracket, you can see what special cells I can refer to. They could be blank cells, comment cells, constant cells, or formula cells. Now we're after the constants cells, the cells that contain values rather than formulas. So then I need to refer to the locked property of those cells, dot locked, and then I need to say false to basically turn the lock off. Okay. Then, as I explained before, once we've kind of unlocked the cells, we need to protect the sheet so that the lock for the formula cells becomes active. So to do that, I can just say active sheet dot protect, and that will protect the sheet. Now I'm going to play the macro. And let's see if this has worked. So if I click into a formula cell and try and type something, I get this message coming up indicating that the cell is locked. But if I click in a cell that doesn't involve a formula or contain a formula, so I change that to 700, I'm allowed to edit it and it does update my formula. Okay, so that's all there is to this particular video tutorial. Thank you very much for listening and hopefully that's been helpful.